Hope everybody's having a good day. August 22nd, 2023. I'm gonna ask everybody to just pray for this on my behalf, to just pray. Ezekiel 12, 22. Son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel? saying the days are prolonged and every vision fails. Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 22. So everybody please pray this prayer. And I wrote after years of being jacked around, you know, in nine different churches from the period of 2009 to 2024, I ask everyone to please pray for God to agree to please in his long delay with me and all of my endeavors. Please everyone pray for God to agree over Chad's life to cancel the Ezekiel 12 verse 22 proverb that has been a terrible problem in my life. I ask God to please cancel that on my behalf. I confess passionately because of the affairs of this life, I hate life. And the reason that I hate life so much is because I constantly have things terribly overwhelming coming my way that I can't figure out, like having to update phone accounts and can't remember the pins or the passwords, and it's not bank accounts. I have been to nine churches over the period, 2009 to 2024, and I was also overwhelmed because I couldn't keep the dietary laws, I couldn't keep the Torah, I couldn't understand it. I was told dreams and visions weren't permitted in that church. I got kicked out of one church because I mentioned the rapture. You know, I mentioned the rapture. They kicked me to the curb out of Sunday school back in 2011. There was a pastor in 2015 who wished to move another man in with me without my permission into my own home. When I said no, I got shunned for that. I also got banned at another one because I couldn't speak in tongues. Well, I tell God I'm so tired of it all in 2024 after a constant barrage of this garbage. And I feel if this life, if this is how it's going to be forever, I might as well just be in hell then. That's how I feel about it. I'm that frustrated. I curse and I hate this life before God because of all of its difficulties and I curse, I curse all of it in his name. I'm tired of it. And the fact, life has no joy in it because of all of the things I can't do. And the fact, it is all so hard. All I get is jacked around. All I get is jacked around. No matter what I think, I'm always blamed 100% of the problem. I ask everyone to pray. Yep, let me find a page. I thank everyone to pray to God for him to no longer extend my days of frustration. Thanks for praying everyone in agreement with me for God to just take me home to where I can focus on his only begotten son and not all this trivial bullshit that I have to deal with all the time daily. All I get is gaslight, gas lit in any church I go to, doesn't matter which one, to where they all say Chad is 100% of his problem. It's all my fault and it's all my fault that I'm stressed or you know, hate certain situations. It's all my fault, it's never anybody else's fault that I have autism. 
pastors say that I'm in the wrong to even say I have any kind of mental illness or disability. And I am told constantly in these churches, I made a personal choice to have autism and that's what's expected of me. And I'm tired of having to constantly update stuff I don't know how to update. It is too much of a challenge and I have made a personal choice. I decide to just quit. Meaning just quit the frustrations and just go on about my life and just enjoy things and just not worry about church anymore is what I mean. And that's because I'm just frustrated with things and I'm just done with things in the church. And... I do this because it's just too hard and I can't, I just can't do it. So I'll just go out and I'll just live my life like I want to live it. And the things I'm confronted with are just too hard for me. And the influence of all of it makes me act out and be a totally different person that I never have been before. I mean, all this frustration and hardship has groomed me to be this person I have never been before. It looks to me that God will keep delaying and stalling till possibly as long as 2040. Everyone has blamed me relentlessly and telling me I am responsible for causing all of this making my situation 10 times worse. You know, them blaming me for all of this, telling me I'm the cause, blaming me for all of it, has made the situation and my mental condition 10 times worse. That's what I'm saying. And everyone has blamed me 100% for causing and me making a personal choice for me having a bipolar disorder and autism. So please everyone pray for my wishes for God to agree to just cut me off, regardless of whether I go to heaven or I go to hell. But I don't have to be in limbo anymore and I can just go back out and just live my life if it's gonna be this way. I am tired of the years of all of this terrible gaslighting uh, why everything is always my fault and nobody else's choice have any pull in anything all of the lectures that where I'm told if I try to change anything that God will go out of his way to work it in the negative for me I understand that whether I quit trying or don't the only way I will go to heaven is Jesus Christ's blood. I will not win outside of him whether I give up on trying to do this life's affairs or I don't. It's all about him. Even if I let everything fall through to hell, I am always blamed for my situation. It doesn't matter what it is. I am always blamed 100% in any church for being the cause of every single bit of it. And I'm just tired of all the terrible, difficult things that are in society that I can't do nor access or access I mean it has gone on since 2001 but really 2020 to 2024 is absolutely god awful not because of the 2020 well known thing that everybody remembers but the fact that everybody blames me for the personal issues that I've had and the fact I couldn't resolve things and everybody blaming me for it, saying I was all at fault for causing it. And everyone please pray for God to give me the desires of my heart. 
and he just take me to heaven and I bring his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, glory and say, and I will just say, the cares of this world and the cares of this life that vex me every day, I will just say, we got a loud one coming. I will just say, fornication under crown of king and you know of a four letter a acronym and I am just ready to say F this system and all the hardships it brings me all the dark days of depression it brings me and all the frustration it brings me I pray in God's only begotten son I don't ever have to dwell in these kind of tears again Thank you everyone for your prayers and agreement with the aforesaid that I had of this letter. And amen. Just this last week in, in church and over the past three years, a pastor I've known has made this statement before the group and has made this statement directly to me three times. It'll blow your mind. He says verbatim oh god was good when he put satan in our mess to clean up our lives satan is the best teacher that god has ever given me this pastor says and then the other five times there this pastor has said before the whole group congregation has said Oh, Satan is the best teacher that God has ever given me. And then he said another time, Satan is the best teacher that God ever created. And you know he said that about Satan.